I like toys. I hope you do too. Alright, what's up, YouTube? ZSB Vids here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make these really cool toys called Hurricane Balls. Now, these things um, spin super fast, and they're really fun to make, uh, and they're just fun to play with because you basically spin them like you would like a top or something, and they spin for a super long time, and you only need three things, pretty much. Um, three things to make it, and then, yeah, I'll, I'll show you the materials right now. So, what you're going to need, you're going to need two ball bearings. Um, now these can be these tiny ones here. This is a comparison to my thumb. I don't know how you guys want to compare them. Um, here's them compared to a almond. <laughs> Let's see if it'll focus here. Uh, I'm trying to get it to focus, but I don't think it will. It's because this thing hates me. Yeah, there's it compared to an almond, so I guess that's all I can show you. Um, you're going to need two of those. You're going to need some super glue, um, not hot glue because hot glue is too thick and sticky so you need some super glue that is just right to the point you dab it on there and glue them together for a super strong bond. And then you're going to need two pencils and these are going to act as guide rails because when you glue them you need to push them together and make sure they stay there and don't roll off in different directions so if you take two pencils put them next to each other and tape them down to a table, it acts as a perfect guardrail for the ball bearings to sit on. So two pencils and tape. That's pretty much all you need. Right now I'm taking tape and marking because you see how if I were to um you know if you know they roll apart. You see that how they are able to roll apart? I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm just gonna take some tape and place it right where they both sit so when I put them next to each other they don't have the opportunity to roll away because we want this to be a super accurate and strong gluing process so now they're not able to roll away from each other and they're forced to sit right next to each other and have a, a, a nice strong bond so let me see if this will focus here um, the crazy glue that I have have you know like has this safety feature. There's this little tiny, see that little pin up at the very top of there. Um, you have to push that down for the glue to come out because you know kids are gluing themselves together. Adults are too because if you squeeze the tube on normal, you know hot, uh, not hot glue. If you squeeze the tube on normal super glue uh, tubes, it just comes right out with ease. But this you have to actually push down on this pin, and then the glue will funnel out through there and go on whatever you are gluing. Also, yeah, whatever. So I'm going to take one of the ball bearings and I'm going to go and you see if I just press down on it, the glue kind of shoots out there. And let's see if it came out. Come on, glue. You can do it. Let's see. Hold on. There it is. Okay. There it is. So now I'm just going to take it here and I'll walk up and press them together wherever the glue is at oh the glue is near my finger okay retry sorry this is really hard to do through camera so I'm gonna see if I can do it off camera alright guys so I got the two balls glued together and uh, they're gonna need I'm, uh, they, they it takes about like a minute to dry but I'm just gonna give it 10 just so it's a super strong bond but yep they just sit right there and get nice and glued together and then we can see what these things can do. Now pretty much what they do, if you look up hurricane balls on YouTube or on Google, um, they're, just, they're, just, they're just super cool. They pretty much just spin at like a super fast rate and they stay spinning for a long time and if you shine a light on them they make this, like they make like a really cool reflection and makes it look like a tornado. It's just really cool and it's just a really fun toy. So I'm gonna wait till these uh, I'm wait till these dry and then we can turn on the flashlight on my phone and then we can see how they spin. Now they say to do it on a mirrored surface because that's when it looks the coolest. So I'm going to get a small mirror and that is what I'll be filming on when we come back. See you then. Hello. Alright guys, here we are back with the mirror and the hurricane balls. Now you see they're glued together and they look nice. So now we're just going to, you pretty much just take it with your two fingers and you spin it. You guys spin it faster than that. So 
there you go. There is them um, in action. So now let's turn the light, or the light's already off, the most in my living room. But let's um, let's just turn the flashlight on on my phone and see what kind of light show they create. Okay, so here they are. Let's see how they look. Let's move it towards the front so we can get a better angle. Okay, so here I am above the mirror. Let's see here. Crap. Dang it. That's pretty cool. There's like there's like four rings that you can see. I'm just not spinning them good. There we go. That's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> That's really cool. That's freaking sick. I'm gonna show you it in slow motion. Alright guys, well there you go. Now you guys know how to make hurricane balls, a nice fun little toy. Uh, it's pretty much just a, uh, just a really fun way to look at science. Yeah. I guess you could call this a science project, but I don't know, I'm not really a, a whiz. But anyway, that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace to signing out. Peace.